Hey friends, it's the old Marine One on on April 4th, 2018. I thought I'd let you know where I've been for a while. Uh, actually, I've been quite sick. Um, actually, for going on about a month and a half now. Kind of came on as Brenda and I. Poor old Brenda, she ended up in the hospital for seven days. We had both gone to the doctor, and uh, her breathing was down to about 82. And mine had dropped down to 82, but when she showed up there, I think it was 79. So we had to put her in the hospital. And mine was showing 95, thank you, Lord. Um, it was about the time I'd had a conversation with what I thought was a dear friend of mine. And uh, he had he had come up with some feelings that he wanted to turn against Jesus Christ as our Savior and not believe him any longer. And I tried to uh, let him know not to go that route. And it was like Satan come in and attacked. You know, uh, I don't know if you've ever had that feeling before. But uh, they had been spraying the air. It was kind of a nice day. And I was, uh, actually, I was in conversation with Brenda at the hospital when the call came in and I was outside and uh, I kind of cut him short and I realized that uh, I was starting to really, really feel bad. So I was taking this strong ass medicine, I don't know, it's pretty strong stuff here, this uh, whatever the hell it is. It's an antibiotic and uh, you know they give you prednisone to clear your lungs up and uh, I had taken it, and the seventh day when I brought Brenda home, it was kind of a nice day the next day, and she felt a little better, and I felt a little better, so we went outside, and I rode my little bicycle, and tried to enjoy the sunshine and stuff, but they started spraying again, and it was like I got a double whammy, because what would happen, because during this period of time, I, I quit smoking. And so I didn't want to have that excuse upon me that uh, this is why I was having problems. So in the middle of the night, I'd be sleeping, and all of a sudden I'd start coughing. And I couldn't stop coughing. And it was like, what is this all about, you know? So I, I, I never could figure that one out. But I'd done take my the routine of medicine, and because of the coughing, it kind of pissed me off. So I got me a couple of shots of whiskey, and that kind of calmed things down a little bit, and I had kind of a peaceful evening that evening. It's like I slept for 24 hours. When I got up, I started coughing again. And it was like a real deep, dry, dry cough. Like you couldn't get rid of it. It was like a signal in your brain, tick and tick, 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 making you cough. And years ago, we used to be able to go to the pharmacy and get some stuff like codeine cough medicine that would suppress this but conveniently uh, they have removed that you know now you have to go through the doctor to get all this because of the, the misuse of it but uh, so for me to have for the next few days for any kind of a day I uh, I opened up uh, which I don't drink but I, I did open up a, a couple bottles of uh, uh, a beer Mexican beer because I don't trust American beer Corona, and I, I drank one of them down, and I was able to get some rest again. And then about the fifth day, here the other day, it got real, real bad again. And I got to think, what else have I got? And I had orange juice, I had lime juice, and I had lemon juice, and I had some oil, oregano, and I had some vodka. So I put a little bit of that in a cup, and I chucked that bad boy in the microwave, and heated that up, made myself like some kind of a super duper hot toddy. And what it did is suppress that stupid ass cough. And I was able to lay flat on my stomach with no pillows. And I was able to find some peace and calm. Because what was happening, I couldn't get no rest. So I was just wore out, you know. And I continued to be wore out. And what this is all about is my bout with this new flu virus. And to be warning you all that uh, it is getting stronger and more deadly because uh, there's so many people that don't smoke and don't have respiratory problems all of a sudden are having many many problems and uh, nobody wants to look to the sky and admit to it 
Now, years ago, I had talked about what was going on in the sky. Actually, to the point that uh, I was one of the first ones to put up a video about them spraying lithium. Because they admitted that when they did it. But, you know, how it goes, you, you know, you always get that, ah, oh, that's a bunch of baloney. You know, well, let me tell you, friends, there's something going on. And it's not good, all right? It's not good for any of us. One way or the other, they're going to eliminate the population. You can call it whatever you want. I got a good friend here. That she's, been, she's been a good friend of mine for years, okay? And this is Jasmine. Jasmine's 72. She's from England. And uh, she did videos years ago. And she did research where she went around to all the hospitals and, and started taking a record of how many people were having respiratory problems with the amount of spraying that was going on. And, uh, you know, we were doing that kind of stuff years ago for you people. But, you know, y'all y'all, y'all just wanted to hee-haw it off and say we're a bunch of nuts, okay? I don't give a shit what you call it, spraying, uh, whatever you, well, you know, uh, climate control or whatever word termination you want to put to it. It ain't right. It's blocking your sunshine. It's taking away your ability to get vitamin D. It's taking away for your health. And if you don't understand that, then go to her channel. She just put in a couple of new videos up. And uh, if you want, go into her archive and see some of her old ones. But I've got some friends out there that I trust and have for a long time. Some of you new kids out there act like you just got it all under control. And, and you're not... You're, I don't know what you're doing. I really don't really care what you're doing, you know? Because you think you're somebody, but you ain't nobody. Let us old people tell you what it's like. Of course, a lot of people don't want to hear us old people, you know? Because we're foolish, I guess, in your eyes, you young people. But let me tell you, when your ass can't breathe, and you're gasping for air, and you don't know why, and there ain't a doctor can help you, then you know what we're talking about, Okay. And I'm going to tell you right now, they're giving everybody different kinds of medicine because they don't know what the hell it is, okay? They have no clue. So that's what I got to say. That's my update for right now. Hey. And that's why I feel like I do. Mm -hmm. And let me tell you another thing. It affected my hearing. Okay, I went for almost a week without being able to hardly hear. And that was tough. Till I finally realized, if I get in the shower and let hot water run over my head, and hold my nose and blow real ass hard. I almost thought I was going to blow my brains out a little bit I got. And my ears popped and my hearing came back. Okay? So, let me tell you. It, it, this this is a new deal out here. It's a new deal on the block. And uh, it's, it's something I'm sure a lot of you are feeling. You ain't been a chance to talk about it. But I'm putting it out there in the air. So, have a good one. It's the old Marine One Vaughn. And let me tell you what. Those out there that don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior, you you know what? I I ain't even worried about you because I don't I don't want to even see you on the other side. You ain't my kind of people. None of you. None of you that don't believe in Jesus Christ as your Savior. There ain't no place for you. You ain't written in the book of life, and that's tough shit, okay? That's how life goes. Hug the kids, hug the wife, the old Marine One, on April 4th. 2018. I'm just as mean as hell. I sound a little rough, but I ain't changed one bit, trust me. And the one thing you want to get between me and Jesus Christ, we're going to have a damn problem. So don't ever call my house or ever tell me that there ain't a Jesus Christ and he ain't my savior because there's going to be a problem. Because when he comes back, he's going to show you people. He's going to show you people in a way that you ain't never known before and never will again, trust me. Have a good one. Bye-bye, friends. God bless.